Well, hi, my name is Jeff Harris, and I'd like to talk to you about a brand new device called the AxeTrack Pickup Tester. This unique device lets you test and audition electric guitar pickups on any guitar without having to remove or modify anything on your instrument. As a matter of fact, you won't even have to loosen or remove the strings. There is no need for a soldering iron or any other special tools. This device allows you to quickly audition series, parallel, and single coil wiring configurations on multi-wire pickups. If you're like most guitar players that have been playing for any number of years, you probably have a little collection of unused pickups gathering dust somewhere. I know I had a huge collection of pickups that I acquired over the years. I didn't really want to throw them away because they were perfectly fine, and I always kind of wondered what would happen if I were to, say, take this pickup and mount it on that guitar, or maybe take that pickup and mount it on this guitar. You know, maybe take a pickup that was in the bridge position and maybe put that in the neck position. Or maybe take a pickup that was wired in series and try it wiring it up in parallel or single coil. There are so many options when someone mounts a pickup that there was really no way to really sample an experiment with all of those different configurations. And that is the situation that has fostered the creation of this device. The Axtrack Pickup Tester. Okay, right now I'd like to point out the different components that make up the Axtrack Tester. Right here we have the circuit board. And on this circuit board we have a three position slide switch. In this position, the tester would be wired in parallel wiring configuration. In this position, the pickup would be wired in a single coil wiring configuration. And in this position, the pickup would be wired in series so that you would get the full output of the pickup. The other component on this circuit board is a quarter inch phone jack. And this would be where you would connect the guitar cable so that you could monitor the sound of the pickup under test. Now right here we have a solderless four position terminal block. And if you see that here you can see that there's four slotted screws right here. And they're real small, mini. And you get a mini screwdriver that comes with the unit. But this would be where you would attach all the various different colored conductors from your pickup and you normally have four different colors and then a ground um, and so those would attach right here and then you just uh, grab your screwdriver and just tighten those up and that would take the place of soldering now the other component we have here is a wire clip and what that does is once you put the pickup in here it's just a way to keep the wiring neat and out of the way of the circuit board right here we have the mounting plate now in this cavity, this would be where the pickup goes, face down, and you put that right here, and then you'd come back with the mounting plate here and put that on top, and then you'd apply the two butterfly wing nuts right here, and you would tighten that just enough so that you would hold the pickup in place. Now right here you see two suction cups, and they're mounted on a stud, and these are what we call our leveling suction cup studs. Now these serve two purposes. First of all, this allows you a means to affix the tester to the face of the guitar. These also screw in and out, and that allows you to adjust the height of the pickup to the strings. So now let's go ahead and actually test a pickup. Okay, right now I'd like to go ahead and actually wire up a pickup. First thing you want to do is remove the butterfly wing nuts that were on here and then you want to take off the pickup mounting plate. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to use this Seymour Duncan single coil stack pickup and I want to kind of clarify the orientation because this is the one thing you want to make sure you get right. If this were my guitar, meaning this was the tailpiece um, and the body of the guitar and this end was the neck up here, I would want to put this pickup in my guitar mounted this way. And by that, I mean this side of the pickup would be the side that is under the bass string. Now, if I were to turn this pickup like that, you can see that that just moved that side of the pickup to this end, and then it would be over the high strings. Now, with some pickups, it may not be that critical, but say if you have a pickup with varying heights on the poles and different things are staggered to give a certain sound, you want to make sure you keep that orientation the same. So the correct way to do that, if I want to keep this side of the pickup over the bass string, would be to just 
rotate the pickup like this and that keeps everything the same. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this pickup in the cavity face down and I'm going to line it up straight based on this screw and that screw um, and that's really you know as, as precise as that needs to be you line it up by those screws. Then we're going to go ahead and put the plate back on and then we're going to go ahead and put the butterfly wing nuts back on there and now on this, this isn't something you have to torque down real tight. You just want to make it snug. And it will bend a little bit. It's acrylic. It won't hurt it at all. So we put that side on. Then we'll go ahead and put this side on. And just a little flex to it. This acrylic piece has soft foam under it. And that's enough to hold it in place. And you can see your little bend there. Now the next thing we want to do is grab the wire. Because you don't want this dangling around. And we just kind of put it right through there. And stick it under the clip like that. Now if you can see this here, this slot, you have four screws here and they're going to be for each of the four wires. This side has the minus terminal and this side has the plus terminal. Now according to the Seymour Duncan spec, they say the minus side should be the green wire and the ground. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to take the green wire and the ground, which I've already twisted together, and we're just going to put it in that little slot there and then cinch up the screwdriver to kind of lock it in place. So we put that in there, turn that a little bit, and that should be good. Don't want to torque it, just want to make it snug or taunt. Now, the very next location, right next to the minus side, is going to be the other side of that coil. So according to Seymour Duncan specs, the green and the red wire make up one coil. So we're going to put the red wire in that next area. Just put it under there. Tighten that up a bit. And now the last one, like I said, is the positive. According to Seymour Duncan, that's the black wire. So the only wire we have left is the white, and that will go right there. So I'll put that one in there now. And turn the screwdriver. By the way, this screwdriver comes with it. Everything you need comes right with the set. You don't need to have any special tools. And then we put the black wire in there. And that's it. Um, and I'm going to actually check it. Now, if everything was done correctly, and like I said, when this is in this position, you're in parallel. Now, I happen to know that the impedance reading on this pickup should be about 6.6K uh, for a coil. Now, being that I am in parallel, I would expect to see half of that. So, when I measure this, I am looking for 3.3K or something like that. So, we'll see what we get. 3.334K, which is perfect. So we know that that's wired correctly. Now I'm going to go to the middle position, which is the single coil. And like I just said, I would expect to see about 6.6K. So we put this here. 6.66K, which is perfect. And so the last position is series, and that's where you would see the full output of the pickup. So I'm looking for 13.3K or something like that. And we get 13.34K, so it's perfect. So basically everything we've done is wired perfect. We see that regardless of what position we have it in, everything is working perfect. So now the only thing left to do is actually mount this on the guitar so that you can see the whole process from A to Z. Stay with me. Okay, right now we're going to go ahead and actually mount the tester on this guitar so you can see just how simple it is to actually sample a pickup. Now here I have the tester in my hand exactly from where we um, wired it up and I've just installed the guitar cable here and now I'm strumming the guitar and there's no sound going through the amp but you can see as I as I approach it with this it does begin to make sound. Now I push that end down and that's in the parallel position that's the single coil position and that's the full output of the pickup series position. Now I can put that anywhere and it really doesn't matter if you're on a pick guard or anything one side will be flat you push that down and if this side is over there all you do is attach the little painters tape from here to here 
and it will definitely stick to the guitar but there will not be a permanent residue but that is a way you can do it if you want to get beyond just sitting it on and testing a pickup and you really want to hang it around your neck jump around with it or whatever little piece of tape from here to here from here to here and you can even do this side but just for sampling it and seeing suction cups work quite well and so there you go it's just that simple we invite you to go to www.axtrack.com take a look at it we have diagrams everything you need um, but it's really just that simple so let the testing begin take care and god bless